I'm uh, going to talk about building a uh, guitar neck. It's a guitar neck for a uh, build, a bolt-on neck like you'd find on a uh, Stratocaster, Telecaster, some of the uh, like Epiphone guitars. Uh, what I do, and uh, it's keeping in with my uh, mantra of uh, recycling and reusing, I'm going to use a, uh, a boat rail to build my neck out of. So what I did was I, I got this piece of boat rail. It was given to me. It's uh, some really nice old mahogany and uh, it had aged pretty good and it was kind of rough looking on the outside. What I did was, was I found the uh, found a, a section that was uh, long enough to make my neck okay which is about uh, 28 inches and uh, so I took that cut it off squared it up and then I took my boat rail simply uh, uh, Trim down the side, and this side made that square, okay, and then uh, ran it through the planer, plane this down, plane this down to where it's nice and smooth and the correct thickness, which is about three quarters of an inch thick, if you notice here, okay. So once I got that, I had a, uh, a piece of uh, mahogany that was about uh, two and a quarter inches, which is the uh, width. Of the heel of my neck right here and uh, it was about that long so what I did was I uh, if you notice the headstock here which is uh, kind of a copy of a, of a 70s Stratocaster it's wider than, than what my wood would have been so I took uh, some scrap pieces that I had left over and I glued those to the sides here and uh, that's how I got the extra width for the uh, headstock on my guitar. This is normally what, what uh, what's done in, in most guitar factories and neck making. Okay, so I took that and uh, used a template, cut out the headstock, and then uh, <clears throat> while my uh, while this was still square right here, I took my router and routed out a uh, quarter inch by half inch deep route right through here okay normally uh, most most of the new guitars come with an adjustable truss rod but uh, before they had the adjustable truss rods most of the makers used steel if they used anything at all that's what I'm going to use in this guitar I'm going to use a, a piece of steel that I bought here in town at uh, Tigret Steel uh, this is a quarter inch flat stock it's half inch wide and that will fit right down into there and that will give me uh, the extra support I need to make sure that the neck doesn't warp with that piece of steel in there it's going to be pretty solid okay then to shape my neck the uh, neck has a, a basic taper to it and what I use I, I have a, a piece here from Stuart MacDonald that uh, I used to uh, route out the pocket for my guitar. This is the guitar that I'm working on. It's it's kind of a uh, my interpretation of a of an old Silvertone amp and case guitar. Anyway, so I use I use this template, and that's what I use to route out my uh, my neck pocket on the body. And then I also use a template on the. Uh, the neck here, I just draw out my uh, uh, an outline of the pocket, and that's what I used to uh, to cut the neck down with. And if you notice, the neck tapers tapers down. It goes from about two and a quarter inches here to about one and seven eighth of an inch right here. Okay, so I get that taper in there, and I cut that out with a bandsaw on both sides, <coughs> and uh, then to get. An extra, some, some extra material out of the neck here. I use a router. I use a router with a uh, half inch cove bit and I simply route down through here and down through here and that takes out a, a consistent amount of material right in here. So I got a, a lot of that, that removed. Then what I do is I, uh, I use my bench sander and I use that to just kind of bring everything into the right shape, get it kind of roughed in here, and 
smooths out where I, I had routed down to here, makes that consistent on both sides. And the uh, type of neck that I'm going for will have, have a, a V shape to it. Some necks have like a C shape or, or a D shape. Uh, a lot of the old uh, Stratocasters had a, uh, a V shape to them. And uh, so that's what I'm going for here. I kind of like the feel of that, that type of neck. So what I did, uh, there again, I uh, used my bench sander after I had routed it and just got this down, angled off here, angled off on both sides. Then what I use, I take a, uh, a rasp, metal rasp, and I use that to shape it out just a little bit more. It's a little easier to get a um, more consistent, more detail with, with the rasp because you can work it the way that the neck wants to go there. So we just smooth that out with the uh, rasp, both sides, and we're working on keeping our V shape right down through here. This is kind of flat, and I have about uh, a little over a quarter of an inch um, flat spot right in here, which I'll, I'll sand and smooth on out with the uh, uh, with sandpaper after here, that. And, uh, a couple All right, that's a uh, guitar neck for a bolt-on electric guitar. Thank you. Uh, here's another transaction. A gentleman had a.